Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camp. I'm Glenda Calkins, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I have a couple fun fold cards to show you. It is basically the same card, but it's done vertically and then horizontally. And it has a different look when they're done in the different directions. So let's change the camera and get started. Alright, so for today's cards, I'm going to be using an oldie but a goodie. It's still in the annual catalog, and I love that I bring back some stamp sets that you might already have on your shelf. This is the Hello Ladybug. It has the stamp set and a coordinating punch. Now, they used to be sold in a bundle, but now they are separately. So if you don't have this bundle, you're going to need the stamp set and the punch. I kind of paired one of the cards with the go-to greetings. One of the cards I used the bundle, the go, the Hello Ladybug bundle, and one I used the go-to greetings because I wanted a birthday card. So I love the go-to greetings. This is a staple in my stamp room because it has various fonts, various sentiments, and various shapes and sizes of the sentiment. So it's a winner. It fits any type of mat or sentiment tag that you're going to be stamping on you'll find the size that you need with this stamp set i am also using the stylish shapes dies now this for the technique that i'm going to be doing the fun fold this is necessary so you're going to need the stylish shapes dies and i pulled out my 2022-2024 in colors and I'm going to show you it in two of these in colors, actually three, because I'll show you one at the end in another one of the in colors. But I thought they turned out so darn cute. I think it would be so cute in all five of these colors, but I'm going to show you three of the colors. All right, so I'm going to show you the, the typical, usual way of doing it first. It, I call this a pop-out, pop-up, pop-out card. A little bit different. We're going to start out with doing the vertical, and this is going to be, actually, is this the vertical? Yeah, they're both vertical, but they're cut differently, okay? So this is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at five and a quarter. So your typical card. I'm going to score that. And then I have a piece of white. And this is five and a quarter by eight, and then it is scored at four and then at six. So I'm going to fold in half like so, and then we're going to fold this back. So it's like a Z fold, but it's going to go in the opposite direction. We want it to go out like this, okay? Then I took a piece of the Tahitian Tide designer series paper, and we're going to put that on just like that. So let me go ahead and attach my adhesive. And we're going to center that on the front like so. Then you're going to take that big circle die, the biggest one in the sty stitched stylus shapes, and you're going to place it on there and you're going to die cut that out. So I'm going to bring in my cut and emboss machine. Okay. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to place this probably, I would say, a half an inch from the top there, centered. And then my plate on top, and we're going to run that through. And I'm missing something here because it's going too easy. Got to have my little plate underneath there. Let me get that straightened out here. That looks pretty good. I don't think it moved on me. We're going to run that through much better. And we're going to pop that out, save that for another card. Move my cut and emboss machine out of the way. Let's fold our card closed again, give it a nice crease. Now this is going to be placed on the inside. We're going to center that, place that in there like that. 
So remember, I said this is a pop. It could be a flip, flip out, pop up, whatever you want to call it. I don't know a technical name for this. I have done this card before, but when I do the other way, it will probably be new. So I took another piece of the Tahitian Tide and I die cut it with that same large circle. And then I took the next circle down, stamped that leaf. That's the Parakeet Party from the Hello Ladybug stamp set. We're going to attach that to our Tahitian Tide circle, like so. Then we're going to put that in that spot right there. But when you adhere it, you only want to have it on this portion right there. Otherwise, you just stuck your card shut. So what I like to do is keep it flat, put my glue here, and that way I know I'm good. I kind of like my leaf on a little bit of an angle. Place that in there, like so. And then I've already went ahead, stamped the wings, and punched out my little ladybug here. And that's going to go, oops, we'll put that kind of to the side. you got to stay within your circle, so that's good. Then I did the You Can Bug Me Anytime. Now that is from the Hello Ladybug set. And I used those Stylish Shapes banners and die cut my black and the smaller is with the white. And then I'm going to come in with the new in color pearls. So I'm going to use the Tahitian Tide ones here like so and then I think I'll put one up here oh, right there looks good so this is flip up pull out so now in the inside I'm going to take the Tahitian Tide ink and the little flowers from the Hello Ladybug set and I'm just going to stamp them right there to decorate my inside so isn't that cute? Now you probably remember that. I didn't use, I used a different stamp set, but I thought that worked out so cute with the ladybug and I love the little spotted designer series paper. Now I'm going to show you it, but we're going to use a different direction for our card base. So on this one, our card base is going to be four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. So we're going to fold that in half. Our white is, again, it is five and a quarter by eight, scored at four inches and at six inches. So this is exactly the same size as the other one. And then we're going to fold that back. And this will go on the inside. But first we're going to do... This time I'm going to use the Sweet Sorbet. This remind me of Minnie Mouse. And we're going to put that on the front. So we're going to attach that to the front, like so. Then I'm going to bring in my cut and emboss. And my circle die. So everything is done the same. It's just the direction that you cut your card base in. And it's just going to be a little bit different. I'm going to come down just a little bit more. All right, so now we're done with that. Alright, so I'm going to take that out. You can use that on another card. Fold that in half. Crease it again. Now we're going to take this and put it to the inside. You have your fold 
you know, this part to your right. Center that in there like so. Fold it close. You can use any adhesive, but I like to use the liquid glue for this part. I got my sweet sorbet and my stamped leaf. So we're going to put those together. And then place that back in there. I'm just going to hold that there a second. I already have my little ladybug. Now this time I use that go-to greetings to create a birthday card. So we're going to take the dimensionals off our little ladybug. We'll put her just like that. Take the dimensionals off the... So, so far the card looks the same. It's when you open it that it's a little bit different. So we're going to put that on there. And then we're going to come in with the Sweet Sorbet Pearls. Maybe I'll put one there. All right, so open it up and pull it out. So now we're going to put our little flowers in here. There is a little ladybug in the stamp set as well that you could put inside. But I'm going to clean off that Tahitian Tide and stamp my little sweet sorbet trio right there. And I would put that on my envelope or I would put that little, so it is pull, pull up, pull out, I guess you could call it. So this one goes like this and this one goes like this. So those are your two different pull out, pop out, pull up, pop out, I don't know. Call it whatever you'd like to call it, but I just thought that was kind of fun. A little bit different depending on if you wanted it to be vertically or that's vertically too but the card base is horizontal so and then I also did it in the orchid oasis so there you have it isn't that fun love that and I think like I said in all five of those in colors be adorable. So if you need any of these supplies, please visit my blog, www.thestampcamp.com. You'll find a direct link to my store as well as the supplies that I used on today's fun fold cards. Down below under the video where it says show more, click on that and you'll find all the good stuff that you need to be able to create these fun fold cards. If you are new to my YouTube channel, make sure that you like, share, subscribe, click on that bell in the upper right hand corner so you always know when I go live. That is it for today. Thanks for stopping by.